Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today I'm going to take more of your questions in a segment of Ask Judy. If you have a question you'd like to ask, put it in the comments below. That's where I pull these various different questions from. Um, and if you are enjoying these, please do hit like and subscribe. If you'd like to know when I'm going to post another one, hit that notification bell. I have a question here from Beth who said, what was the single greatest advantage or benefit and the single greatest disadvantage or detriment about being a child actress on the Waltons? Wow. Um, okay. So in terms of, let's start with the bad news. <laughs> uh, I think it's, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to even come up with, with bad sides. I mean, I guess you could say that it closed some doors after the series that um, initially uh, the response after the show ended when I would audition or be submitted or suggested for different roles was too well known. Everybody will associate her with the Waltons, you know, we think, yeah, she's great, but she's not right for this. Uh, so that typecasting aspect of uh, film and television, which, which happens. Um, on to the good news was that uh, <laughs> uh, it opened other doors. I was able to do a lot of theater at that point because in that case, they wanted somebody that everybody knew that people would come and see. So that was good news. Um, I think that sometimes not being able to schedule my life was a little tough because we didn't have cell phones then, we didn't have computers, we didn't, so you were, there were so many things that you had to do in person. You had to go to the bank yourself. Um, you had to, um, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't be traveling around and, and then be able to reach you. We did have pagers, so you could do that eventually. Um, I didn't have an answering service, but even if you have an answering service, you have to be there to be able to, uh, for the answering service to reach you. So I couldn't, I couldn't make doctor's appointments. I couldn't plan things with friends. I couldn't guarantee I'd be off in time to attend something. So there were things like that, but hey, you know, we deal with them. Uh, at the time, maybe some of them seemed inconvenient, but relative to all the positive things, um, you know, having the opportunity to be part of such an amazing show and that if you are going to be associated with a particular character or show for sort of the rest of your life, I'm just so glad it was one I'm proud of, one that I think uh, the messages, what it had to say were positive, that it has been so incredibly relevant even today that, uh, we have so many of you loyal fans and followers that continue to watch it in reruns. So those are, those are fabulous things. Um, it also, as a teenager, when you hit about 15, 16, depending on how young you look, those can be very awkward years because, because of the child labor laws and the restrictions on how many hours you can work when you're under 18, having to have teachers on the set and guardians and stuff. Uh, a lot of times producers would prefer to hire someone who is over 18 to play someone younger. So you look at shows like Happy Days where all of those kids who were supposed to be in high school were over 18. Or, you know, there's other shows you see today where it's supposed to be teens and they're actually over 18. Uh, so sometimes when you hit that age, it can be very difficult to be considered for roles because they'd rather hire someone who is already 18. So it got, it got me through, it got all of us um, who were young through those, those awkward years. Um, I mean, it was also a great era in television. There were a lot of really good shows on. Uh, it was a good time to be working in television. We got to work on film, which is such an amazing medium. Um, advances in digital work have allowed it uh, to them to create digital work that can look nearly as good as film, but that didn't used to be the case. Originally video and stuff just didn't, it lacked depth. So you looked, it looked far more two dimensional. Whereas when you, we worked on film, we could create that depth on the screen. So you felt like you were more immersed in the environment. 
Uh, plus the people I got to work with, the, the crew that had come up during the golden age of Hollywood, some of the amazing guest stars. So all of those were just so fabulous to work with great writers and great directors um, as the way to sort of start my career was just priceless. This question is from Dark Vader 7231 from England. So, uh, and um, thank you. you. You frequently comment, which I appreciate, but you actually had a question. You wanted to know uh, what I would say are maybe my top five episodes and why and what I might know about any of the other cast relative to that also. Um, I've mentioned this a few times, but for people who haven't caught me talking about it before, I will reiterate. So the Easter story, one of my favorites, um, because it involved the whole family. Everybody had something fun to do. I think it was a great episode. Uh, I loved my storyline with GW um, and going out and teaching him to dance. John Boy teaches me to dance, then I teach GW to dance. and. Uh, so it was just a, a fun episode. I loved how everybody had time with Mama in that episode, and we got to uh, see all of our relationships with her. And since this was a season one episode, we were still building all of that. So it was great to have an episode like that. Uh, the Firestorm, just such a strong episode with that that storyline about the book burning and, and what was going on in Germany and everything. Um, that final scene with <clears throat> with John Ritter and Richard Thomas and Nora Marlowe as Mrs. Brimmer, just one of the most powerful scenes, I think, that we did on the Walton. So one of my favorites. Um, and then the burnout. The burnout, um, it, it was just so intense doing those scenes where we stood outside and watched the house burn and working with fire. I mean, it was so memorable. Um, so that one always stood out to me. Uh, the best Christmas. Again, uh, I'm a sucker for Christmas stories and I thought it was sweet the way they worked to bring everybody <clears throat> back together for Christmas. And again, everybody had a little storyline and it was so representative of the Waltons, how it was about the community. It was about everybody coming together to make Christmas happen, and that it wasn't about it wasn't about the gifts. It wasn't about what has become Christmas now, but it was about the community pulling together and really the spirit of Christmas. So that one, and then one of my favorites, not so much that I thought it was one of our best episodes, was the wager because I had so much fun filming it to get to go to work and be riding horses all day long. And of course, poor Mary got roped into that because uh, it was my storyline and she was my partner. <laughs> so she ended up having to do far more horse riding than she wanted to, but she was a real trooper. So those were some of my top episodes. Uh, I know that a number of other members of the cast have talked about the burnout as being one of theirs. Typically, when asked, a lot of the cast will say, will mention episodes that they had a lot to do in. Like Eric always says, well, any episode that featured Ben. <clears throat> so that was, um, that's a typical response there. Uh, John Walmsley mentions the comeback because of working with Merle Haggard. He also loved the gift because of working with Ron Howard. And I think that was a highlight for all of us too, getting to work with Ron Howard. Uh, Michael, recently I talked with her and she said a couple of her favorite episodes were The Bicycle, again, because it was a lovely storyline for Olivia, and The Anniversary, because she talked about how that relationship between her and Ralph, that they really did love each other. And so to have an episode that particularly highlighted that beautiful relationship between John and Olivia, uh, she loved that aspect of it. So there you go, some of some of our top episodes. That's what I have for you for this segment of Ask Judy. I'll be back with more behind the scenes of the Waltons and more Ask Judy. Thanks for watching.